Matt, are you crazy? And if I reinvented myself, as you are so desperate to believe, it's only because I knew it was out there waiting for me. And I wasn't going to let them get me, Jenna. I wasn't going to let them get me. Who did take this advantage to you? Of Who me? put you in the steel Carl shell? Carl Hutchins, all right? He made me believe that if I let people inside of me, they would see how different I really was. So why can't you The climb up in the world. You ruined her. You ruined her. You took an innocent, beautiful child and wiped her out. On the contrary, sir, I made her strong. Strong enough to leave me and strong enough to repel the likes of you. Now, if there is nothing further, excuse me. I'm not through with you, Hutchins. I'm not through with you, not by a long shot. Young man, I have prosecutors like you on toast for breakfast. Now, Mr. Anderson. Do give Lorna my very best wishes. He's a nasty young man. And if he comes back here, bite him. Matt was proposing to Brett? Yeah, I mean, they don't even know each other that well. They've only been going out, what, a couple of months? You think that that's too soon? Way too soon. Are you kidding uh, me? If it was me, I would have run for the hills, of course. What do you want, Brett? I want my friend back. I really like you, Matt. And I, I'd like more. But right now, things just, they don't seem to be working. All right. I understand. you and I forgive you for everything that's uh, what I told you in the hospital that's what you said yeah absolutely with no doubt from the deepest part of my soul I forgive you and I beg you from the bottom of my heart, please forgive me. Your turn. Aren't you supposed to say something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love those words. <laughs> Jeez. It's finally. 
Why are you happening just like my father said? Was it blaming Ryan for a bullet you fired? Or drugging me into some kind of a zombie so I believed all the lies you told me? My love for you is no lie. That's the biggest lie of all. You kidnapped me just like Carl Hutchins. What'd you do, put a no. bag over my head when no. you brought me? Victoria. You could have taken me to Bay City. I can't trust you. I can't respect you. And I don't love you! My work must be finished. Get the keys, Ian. The three keys. Ian? Ian? I will never be controlled or manipulated or bullied by you ever. Will you take me out of here? I'll take you anywhere you want to go. I want to go home. your pathetic attempt to try and associate with respectable people? Yes. Don't you dare sit down. Ryris is rude to shout. Wouldn't it be much better to whisper these tender little sentiments? If you don't leave the table this instant... What will you do? What will you do? Douse me with coffee? Then they'll all think that we've had a lover's quarrel. Not that I'd mind. No, in fact, quarrelling with you might be more stimulating than making love to you. I shall have to ask the mechanic. If you... Show this at me, my dear. I shall have to kiss you. Can I be of assistance? Oh, yes, you can throw out the trash. <laughs> yeah. I feel and oh I guess this is good huh are you kidding we couldn't do better if we used a starter pistol forget you. Difference, Donna, because I'll be up there by myself. What do you mean? I thought I thought Vicky was gonna be No, Matt, forget what? it. Vicky said no. Okay, everyone, Mr. Reynolds is here. We're going live in three minutes. Can we play the opening for Mr. Reynolds? What do I have to do? What am I supposed to do to get out of here? You wait until the magistrate arrive on the 15th. The 15th, that's next week. Paulina! 
politics has lost a very special lady this morning. Well, I'm not sure Washington was ready for Vicki Hudson. Ah, oh, you're a breath of fresh air, Victoria. Vicki. I like that better, too. Keep in touch. In your dreams. Forbidden love when Peter becomes smitten with the team's latest target. Tomorrow on Counter Strike. And CTV Sports has live coverage of the Canadian Open later today. seat Rachel at the next meeting mm -hmm. and you can get back at Paulina and add an enjoyment you know something Jake your reasoning has improved maybe this uh, trip of yours wasn't a waste of time after all it's funny right but but having a baby is something you want to share with your mother you actually want to see Emma she's the only grandparent this baby is going to have I wish your parents were still alive there's Auntie Stacy. Mm, yeah, but you get to tell the baby about uh, your mother and father. Hey, I'm sorry, is, is this making you miss them? No, not exactly. I know you hate to talk about this, but um, how did they die? I told you my father died of a heart attack years ago. When you were still in college? Right. And your mother? She went shortly afterward. How? By jet. What? She went to Europe, Frankie. And she crashed? No. No, she didn't crash. She died there? She... No, she didn't die there. She's she she lives there. She's still living there, as far as I know. What are you doing here? Yeah, yeah and I've been looking for you. My guy took my backpack. I told you not to trust anyone. Look, I am not going anywhere, no matter what you say. What? Do not. Move. In your dreams, now let me go! Freeze or you will die in less than one minute. <laughs> he has little enough extended family. There are plenty of frames around. And what's wrong with Stacy? Your sister is great, but she's in L.A. You don't even exchange Christmas cards with your brother. And Morgan was still carrying his little teddy bear around when I finally left the family estate. But okay, so you're not in touch with him, but at least I was aware of his existence. What is the story with your mother? You don't want to know. Yes, please.
for this. It's finally our time. spelled out for you, interrogative form. Here it is. Kelsey, will you marry me? What? What? what, what, what what's wrong now? Just figure it out for yourself.
Oh, you better now. You better. Is it better? Okay. I'll hold on to you until you, until you warm up, okay? Stay right here. I'll keep you warm. The keys! My father didn't! Matt was good. Maria, my mother loved him. My mother got the fever. Am I gonna die? <laughs> whole thing has been blown completely out of proportion. Now, Carl, I suggest you go home, you sit down, and you write a little note to Kevin, and you tell him it was all a misunderstanding. Lorna, I want you to know that I had nothing to do with this threat on Kevin's life. But whoever is behind it could be dangerous. I could use a man with your talent. What do you want me to do? I want you to blow up a car for me. Whose car? Fine. Did you really pay Ian Rins bail? Yes. Ian's a good friend of yours, isn't he? Yeah, he's a very good friend of mine. I'm Maggie. Yes, of course. I know who you are. You're the delightful Maggie Corey. Your grandmother and I are great friends. Yes, Rachel and I go back a oh, long way. Come on, go over there and get her, Dean. He likes them when they're young. Be careful. Dean Excuse me. A new track, huh? You finished. We were having a friendly chat. Really? Were you? It's over. Bye. What did I tell you? I told you he's a dangerous man, didn't I tell you that? You stay away from him. You stay away from him, Maggie. Okay. I told you that before, oh, right? What the hell? becomes a father overnight when he agrees to take two foster kids home. CTV's Sinbad is tomorrow. Shirley. But you know, why should you and I waste our time, our resources, fighting each other? Because we hate each other. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Friends? She's going to die without a doctor. I'm Lorna Devon's mother. I was told that she... Honey, she hasn't arrived yet. How did this happen? Does anybody know I'll exactly how happened? I'll tell you how this happened. It was Carl Hutchins. I called the police station and they said that someone planted a bomb in Kevin Anderson's car. So she left something in his car. She was going to get a tape. John, is she all right? They radioed ahead. Apparently she's unconscious, but she's holding her. It was an explosion. You think she's burned? Honey, or... don't do that. Listen, I wish I had more details. I don't. I wish I could be more specific. Uh, but she's going to be fine. Frankie's got a direct channel. So whatever happens, we just, we'll all stick together, okay? Lord. Alicia, we Can have to you get hear it. me? Come on. Uh, we're ready in three. It's going to be all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. God, it's all right. She looks so still. What are you getting at, Kevin? Just that Carl is an elusive quarry, and I'm wondering what your case is. I'm waiting for some physical evidence. Kevin, whatever it takes, you just can't let him get away with he this. Will you not. can't. He will not. I promise you. Carl Hutchins will be convicted of attempted murder. Oh, 
dare you come here? Felicia, why can't you leave my daughter alone? It's so weird for me, because I, I almost lost you right in this hospital. I'm gonna miss you so much when you go on the road. But you know something? We're gonna work through it. You know why? Because we know it's important, and we know it when we have it. I want to believe you, Carl. Just like I always did. This time you can. You take care of yourself, Lou. Carl. Look, I, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, especially in the wee hours. Forgive me, Victoria, but this is urgent. It better be. That young, ambitious Kevin Anderson is trying to railroad me into prison. What? I've been set up. Look, I, I, I need your help. This perversion of justice will cost you your career. Cuff him. Watch it, imbecile. No. You have the right to remain silent. Remain silent. silent. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What in the hell's going on here? Well, I tried, Ryan. I tried. Anything. <laughs> Are you sure? Very. Maybe now neither one of us will ever leave. Definitely not now. Get a, we'll get a van right down to the courtyard, a remote van. That's great. You know, a lot of people are going to feel safer with Carl behind bars. Listen. Well, uh, have you told Ryan, I mean, that his father was arrested? Detective Harrison happened to show up when Carl was being read his rights. Well, what did he say? Well, he wasn't as appreciative as I thought he'd be, but he's wrong if he thinks Carl's going to get off. Going to make sure these charges stick. Tell me something, Kevin. Why are you so absolutely hell-bent on convicting an innocent man? I'm late. I'm, I'm late. That is not a school. That is a POW camp. Finally. Hi. Maggie. Maggie. Oh, you're late. Do you know that? Oh, like I'm not aware.